Our products commonly use one of three display types in our consoles, no matter whether it's a treadmill, an elliptical, or a bike. There is the basic LCD display, which has no built-in Wi-Fi capability, the Wi-Fi LCD display, which has Wi-Fi capability built in, and the touchscreen Android display, which also has Wi-Fi capability built in. The console we use in this video may be very different than yours, but this is of no importance. It is the type of display your console uses that matters. Here we are showing you how to understand the information mode on a treadmill's Wi-Fi LCD display, which has Wi-Fi capability built in. Your display's information mode can be used to change a number of your machine's settings. The size and shape of your treadmill's console, the arrangement of its buttons, none of that matters in accessing the console's information mode that we demonstrate here. To access information mode on your machine, hold down the stop button while inserting the magnetic safety key. Information mode will open on your console's display. The first setting in information mode is the IP address. This setting is used to determine which IP address your router has assigned to your machine. You navigate information mode by using the up, down, and enter buttons found on your console near the display screen. The second setting is the demo mode setting. Demo mode is used by stores to make the machine appear to be turned on and functioning when it really isn't. This does not mean that your machine was a floor model if you find it in demo mode when you first use it. The jostling of the machine during assembly, packaging, or shipping can sometimes put the console into demo mode. If your machine is in demo mode, you will not see your workouts displayed correctly. You can double check this by putting your display into information mode and navigating to the second setting. Once in this setting, you can turn off demo mode by pressing the enter button on your console. Pressing it again will turn the demo mode back on. The third setting is for the units of measure your machine uses to track distances walked or run. Once you have entered this level, you can change your unit of measure from English miles to metric kilometers. If your machine is running a little slower than the speed displayed, it may be in kilometers per hour and needs to be changed to miles per hour. The fourth setting adjusts the contrast of the console's display. You can adjust the contrast using the up and down incline buttons on your console. Pressing the incline down button will decrease your display's contrast. Pressing the incline up button will increase it. The fifth setting shows whether or not your machine has the latest firmware update. If your treadmill's firmware is up to date, your screen will display the words firmware not downloaded. If there is an available update, the machine will update automatically. The sixth setting is for default settings. Pressing enter while in this setting will change all settings back to where they were when the machine was first turned on. The seventh and eighth settings allow you to connect to your wireless router. While you can follow the on-screen instructions to set up your wireless connection using the Wi-Fi advanced settings, we suggest using the Wi-Fi normal settings option. Press the enter button to select Wi-Fi normal. The console will scan and show all available Wi-Fi networks. Use the up and down arrow to select your home network and press enter. If needed, you will be asked to enter your network password. The Wi-Fi setup card that came with your user's manual shows you which console buttons you must use to enter an alphanumeric password. The ninth setting will give you a five-digit token that you will need to connect your machine to your Wi-Fi account. Once you have received that token, go to www.ifit.com forward slash connect on your computer and enter the five-digit code. This will configure your machine to track your workouts on your iFit account. The tenth setting will clear out any entered wireless configurations you have set up. This can be helpful when having issues with connecting your machine to your router. To take your display out of information mode, remove the magnetic safety key and then replace it. 